welcome back. So today's video is going to be what I got my kids for Christmas, or actually it's more like what my kids are getting for Christmas. Um, it has been a long time since I filmed. I want to say a month or two, and uh, it really sucks. It's just like no time. So the only reason I'm even getting to film today is because I took the day off of work. Um, and uh, yeah, so I have a list here, lying down the center, Eleanor and Daisy, or Daisy, Eleanor. Um, and these are including gifts that I know other people have gotten them, so not necessarily me. And I know this video is going up late for 2020 Christmas, but in case you have any kids in your life that are around the same ages, which I'll get to, um, for birthdays this year or even next Christmas, it might be useful. Um, I don't know that I did one of these last year, but this year at Christmas Day, Daisy will be three years, seven months-ish and Eleanor will be about 16 months-ish. Um, so two girls, and about three and a half, and almost one and a half, we'll say. Now, the big thing you need to know about Eleanor is she doesn't really want baby toys that much. She's totally into big sister's toys. Um, she's not as, like, fixated on putting things in her mouth anymore, little pieces. So this year has been a little bit different because, um, Last year it was like no small pieces for big sister. Even though big sister didn't put things in her mouth, baby sister did, so we just like didn't. This year we're letting her have some small piece things and uh, just trying to teach the baby not to do that. Okay, let's start with Eleanor. She is 16 months. Guys, I think I spent 20 bucks on her this year, but I'm gonna include stuff that other people are getting her. The reason is we actually encouraged our three and a half year old who loves to wrap Christmas gifts kind of terribly but I love it I think it's adorable um, she went in her room and wrapped some toys for her baby sister to move from Daisy's room to her sister's room her Eleanor so we also um, realized that I had some things on hand for her that were new garage sale things so I mean I guess I spent more than 10 20 dollars but like a while back that I've been saving I'm part of a buy nothing group on Facebook where we get free things um, I have hand-me-downs from friends who like their kids grew out of stuff and they kept it. It's like, well, Daisy's already too old for it, but I bet Eleanor would like that. And I'm just like, I'll just wrap it. She has no idea what's going on. You know what I mean? It's fine. Um, okay. So she's getting a book set. Now this is, um, Puppy Dog Pals. It's a box that has like 12 mini books in it. And I think it was about 10 bucks on Amazon. Pretty much everything I bought, if I bought it, is on Amazon. Um, and I'm probably not going to end up linking it, so let me know if you really can't find something. But they're a small book set, and it's inside of a box that you keep it in with a handle. Um, they're little hardcover board books. Eleanor loves putting things in, in things, taking things out of um, boxes, dumping it, putting it back in, blah, blah, blah. Opening and closing. She likes to read. It's like her favorite. Um, she got a Minnie Mouse phone from her grandma, my mom. Um, it's the old style. Like, you know, we have to take the phone off the thing. I think it might even be rotary, I'm not sure, but yeah. Really cute uh, by Minnie Mouse. She also got a baby doll. It says, like, my first baby doll. We have, like, ten baby dolls, but my mom got her another one. And I think it's nice that she'll have one that's hers, you know. And I, mine are a little rough looking because they are probably three years old, so it's not a bad idea to have some. Um, then she also got a doll carrier from us at the garage sale. Um, it's basically like a backpack that you can just take the baby out or put the baby in the outside. So it doubles as a backpack. Um, and I got that at a garage sale. I wanna say I paid a dollar for it. And uh, it's really cute. It's by Go Go Girls or something like that. Um, she got a Lego Duplo puppy. And so it's a puppy that's on a string. You pull it, it's made out of Legos. You can stack them, it stores them inside. I think, I'm not sure, but you feed it blocks in its mouth and then it like poops out Legos out of its butt as you pull it and Eleanor will love that. That's from grandma. Um, a joint gift, like this is her big gift from my dad and my dad's best friend who's like, kind of like an uncle to my kids, um, is the Fur Real Monkey. So this thing is about $100 on Amazon, ridiculously expensive for what it is, but I got it because I did all the ordering and got it all shipped here. Yeah, you know, like my dad gave me his credit card, you know, we took care of it. But it's a joint gift. I already wrapped it. It is so cute. It's a monkey. It is furry. Um, the hands, I felt it because I was going to put batteries in it. They're like rubbery. They almost feel real. It's creepy. 
Um, and it giggles, it smiles, it goes to sleep. You feed it a bottle, which the baby bottle that the monkey comes with is like a banana shape. It's kind of cute. Um, it's in a diaper, and you can like take the diaper on and off and take care of it. Um, it has uh, like facial expressions, and it like moves its mouth when it eats, and it's so cute. So that's like her big gift, um, but not from us. She got a mermaid plush set from Amazon too. I want to say it was around $16. And it has a big size mermaid that might be like this, plush size. And then the mermaid has a baby, which might be, I don't know, six inches or something. So she's obsessed with Goodnight Mermaid's book, um, Little Mermaid, Ariel, the Barbies that have mermaid tails, anything mermaid she loves. So for a one-year-old to have like things that she really likes, you know, like Frozen she loves, Minnie Mouse she loves, dogs, and mermaids. Um, she got the magic clips they're called magic clips these are good for not just one-year-olds I think they're recommended for like three or four year olds but you clip the bottom of their dress and you can change them so that they're like Disney princesses and then you can interchange their dresses so Cinderella can wear Belle's dress or whatever um, she got lots of books from Dollar Tree from us and she loves puppies she loves pop-up books she rips the crap out of them though like I cannot stand the idea of spending a hundred dollars on books because books are expensive you know like if you wanted to get you know 10 of them or something you spend a hundred bucks maybe and then the kid rips them so I'm like Dollar Tree it's fine if she rips them after a couple weeks I'm just gonna donate them or tape them and I don't feel so bad about it um and I know that baby books right now even if she grows out of them as Daisy's learning to read in the next year or two might be nice to have some books that only have five to ten page, uh, words per page, you know, as she learns to read. Simple books are good. So, um, earrings. She got a pair of uh, screw back dangly earrings, and she's 16 months, so they look so cute on her. She already has a pair of pink, and I think the ones I put on her Amazon wish list that were purchased by her other gram, I think, were red hearts danglies. Um, she got a bath toy set from Frozen, uh, plush house. Now they have this toy. Um, it's like a little plush little barn they have where it has a handle and you carry it and then inside the barn is like a plush little rooster and a cow and a pig and a duck. I don't know, something like that. Well, now we have that one. She loves it. When you squeeze them, they make animal sounds. They jingle. They do all this stuff. But the other version is the dogs. And so it's like a dog, dog house and inside are dogs that howl and I don't know, bark and stuff. Might be really annoying, but I knew she loves dogs. Like her favorite word that she says a million times a day is puppy, dog, wag, 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 wag. She says it's so cute. Um, now she also got a bubble lawnmower that you pull and it plays bubble, it, it makes bubbles come out. And I don't know if she got the fubbles, they're called fubbles, they're like fun bubbles, where the kids can't spill it. So they put the wand in this big like jar of bubbles, plastic thing and there's like little holes where the wand goes and then they can wave it around and make bubbles or blow it themselves if they can. I don't think the one year old would be able to, maybe her big sis can, but um, they can't knock it over, it won't spill. So I'm not sure she got that, but that was on her wish list. but then she got the bubble lawnmower. Um, puffy stickers, Melissa and Doug reusable stickers, we love them. So there was a three pack that was like princesses, mermaids and something else, um, a parachute. We have a ball pit and all the balls for it. I've packed it up because they drive me crazy. I find the balls like in every room of the house, these stupid balls. Seriously, I bet you there's like five in my bedroom and, I, and we have a gate. I don't even know how they get where they get. So anyway, the parachute I thought would be fun because when the cousins do come over after the virus and everything vaccine, we can have, I think it's a six foot or nine foot. They all stand around the big parachute um, and play and toss the balls in the air and hide and run under it. And I think it'll be something that all the nieces and nephews can enjoy. Um, and an umbrella. I think I chose Frozen. I might have chosen Minnie Mouse and asked my sister to get that. A uh, toy holder for the bathtub. And then I think that's it. Um, but she loves jewelry. She loves um, like the little princess fake bracelets and necklaces and stuff. She loves those crowns. She loves to put like the bunny ears headbands on. So um, I think I might like wrap some of her big, beast, her big sister's ones and then like Eleanor will have some of her own in her room. And then another thing I just remembered, um, we got her a frozen um, crib size sheet set. It's sheets, a comforter, a pillowcase, which I'm not sure we use, we don't have a pillow for. And then also a um, mirror to go on her wall. It's like a tall and skinny, I don't know, maybe six feet tall, four feet tall, skinny mirror that's gonna go like in her room. Um, because she loves to look at herself in the mirror when she's playing dress up and 
it was like six bucks at, at Walmart, but you have to buy the hardware. So it ended up being like $10. Anyway, so that's it for our 16 month old. Let's move on to our three and a half year old, Daisy. Daisy is a girly girl, but she also loves superheroes and she loves being active and knowing, you know, we don't go out a whole lot right now. It's nice to have something to be active. So one thing on her, not wish list, but I put it on her Amazon list. She didn't ask for it. She doesn't even know what's the thing is a balance beam. So I think it's six, no, eight feet long. And I want to say it's about six inches wide balance beam. It's, I got it in brown, um, but they also have it in like bright colors can be indoor or outdoor and it's just a few inches off the floor but kids can practice doing balance beam stuff now she's never taken gymnastics or dance or anything like that but when we go on walk she always asks if she can walk the curbs and uh, we're like oh right by the street I don't know but she really enjoys it so once in a while like for you know real close somewhere that's kind of safe ish I'll let her and I'll hold her hand and she really likes it so those are like $50. That was a great gift to get from a grandma or aunt and uncle or somebody, not us. I was like, mm. So I got brown because our carpet is brown in the playroom and the couch is brown. And also dirt is brown, so if it ends up in the backyard, it won't look quite as gaudy, you know. But I think that might grow with her too. She might end up taking gymnastics. I think we might have already enrolled her in some kind of sport like that, either sports or dance or gymnastics had COVID not happened, do you know what I mean? So this is a great way to kind of see and maybe we can like show her some videos of gymnasts, beginning gymnasts doing routines and she might get into it. So that'll be fun. Um, also from her grandma, she's getting roller skates, her first pair of toddler skates and um, colored like knee pads, elbow pads. She has a helmet from her bike, so um, that'll be fun. She has specifically requested pink toothpaste. I don't know why, but we got her pink toothpaste. Um, she also got a classroom for Barbies, like the little Chelsea dolls and a teacher. The whole classroom set. It's like a teacher's desk, little kids' desks um, on Amazon. She, this is her big gift, color changing Barbies. So these are the new, I don't know if they're new 2020, but I think they are. Barbies where they actually have like a short pixie cut that's plastic and then they have a wig or two wigs with each one. And then um, you get them wet with this special brush thing and their hair changes colors, their swimsuit changes colors. They come with all the accessories, like a pet, um, clothes that you can change their outfit, you can change their hair, you can like even rub the water stuff on their lips and their lipstick changes, their eyeshadows change colors and it's pretty cool but that was like probably maybe September, October, November like she's talked about it non-stop and I was like okay these are stupid expensive so we bought two of them um, one was like a little bit more of like a pale skin with like blonde hair and then white hair and then like a pink wig or something and one was like a tan girl with dark hair, dark, so that she can interchange all the wigs and the accessories are very different. One was like a carnival and one was, I don't remember. Oh my gosh. But anyway, I think we're going to wrap one of those from um, SAMTA. And then I don't know what we're going to wrap from the baby from SAMTA. We'll have to think about that. But they're, they're about $60 for two of them. Um, yeah. So I got those on Amazon. That was like her big gift this year. Uh, I don't think I said for Daisy we tried to stay under $100 because guys our tree is so full and we have so many toys we, our kids have two toy like playrooms in our house we have one upstairs and one in the basement where grandma lives and they each have their own rooms full of toys so we really just didn't need a whole lot but you'll be surprised how much $100 can buy when you go to Goodwill and whatever um, she got a color your own water bottle um, from somebody not us the big kid Legos, so not Duplos or Mega Blocks, but the big kid ones from, there's like a Mia, I think is her name. There's a playground. And then she got a Lego set that was frozen. And then I got her some basic classic Legos to just like build with. Um, she got a game of pancakes where you like try to flip it up, toss up or something. And a tea party game. I got those both for free on my Facebook group. Um, she got long gloves, like blue ones, I think, for Frozen, because she loves to play dress up. And I think it also came with like a scepter and like a crown or something um, from my mom. She got lots of books from Dollar Tree, um, a Hulk doll. She loves Hulk. A punching bag that's also Hulk. I'm not sure about that. My mom asked me initially, she's like, I'm either going to give it to her or I'm going to give it to the boys, my nephews. And I was like, mm, I don't think so. And then the second time, I don't know what it, it came up again. And I was like, you know what? That might be fun just to give them like her something to do. So 
We'll see. <laughs> um, we got she got clip-on earrings. She did have her ears pierced when she was two months old. She ripped them out when she was about three, and uh, I think she's now regretting her decision. I cried over it. Like I did not want her to stop wearing earrings. It was really annoying because I worked so hard to keep her ears healthy. You know, like cleaning them and like she would fight me. She would take them off. I would do the screw back. She would to the point where she would bleed because she was trying to take them out so bad. I was like, fine. They must bother you. They look kind of not so great now because they're bleeding. Like, we're just not going to wear earrings anymore. Her baby sister has her ears pierced, and I think she's starting to get a little jealous, like regretting that her decision to stop wearing earrings. So my mom bought her a set of clip-on earrings. Um, I will let her get her ears pierced again, but I'm going to wait until she's a little older. And she's not actually requested that. I don't even know if she knows that's an option. But, you know, after COVID and everything, if she's still just expressing interest in getting her ears pierced, I would do that. Um, she got a jacket that's Trolls Silver Jacket, LOL Surprise Activity Set. It's like stickers and all that stuff. She got a Trolls Glitter Scrapbook Set, same kind of thing, Trolls stickers. And then Calico Critters Set. They're like bunnies, little woodland creatures. And she got the kitchen accessories, which has like a blender, a toaster, a little food, and a bathroom set, which is stupid expensive. Those Calico Critters, oh my gosh. If your kid's obsessed with them, I'm so sorry. They're so expensive. <gasps> but we do have a dollhouse that's wooden, and I thought she would really enjoy um, putting the Calico Critters in there and making a move and do all that. And then, you know, I just thought that'd be really fun for her. Um, and books. Oh, she got a necklace set, like make your own necklaces and Shopkins. So we got the real littles they're called by Shopkins. They're like little groceries. It's like there'll be like a dryer's Breyer's ice cream container with a little Shopkins guy with the face inside and then you're supposed to put them on like a grocery shelf. We have the grocery cart already and then they my dad got her the cutie O's I think it's called by Shopkins. It's basically a fold out grocery store. Blew my mind. I want to say it was about 60 50 something dollars um, but it, it folds up real small, almost like a cereal box. And then when you fold it out, it's an entire grocery store, like just empty shelves with like a cash register and everything, like a reach-in freezer. Obviously, it doesn't have power, but you know what I mean. So you use like a Barbie or some kind of character to like you push their grocery cart, like I said, we already have, with the fake groceries. And then you load the shelves up, and then your Barbies can go shopping, and then they can go to the checkout and pay. And it was like, it was a great gift for my dad. So that oh i also requested scribble scrubbies if you haven't seen those they're crayola the kids draw on the little pets with like their special markers and then they can wash them off in like the little bathtub or a scrubby brush and i think it comes with all of that so i asked for those i don't know that she's gonna get them um and i think i think that is it um you know, some things I would have gotten her, um, I definitely want to get a second umbrella because we had one, so baby sister got one, and then baby sister broke big sister, so now we have one umbrella again. <laughs> I'm like, should we just buy another one? They're like $15, so we may end up buying a second umbrella, but our last rainstorm here in Arizona, they announced it's been 110 days since it's rained. Do I need two umbrellas? Really? See what I mean? It's <laughs> like it only rains like four times a year. Do I really need two umbrellas? We could just let the big sister use the adult one. So I don't know. Um, and then I'm sure she got more. I'm sure that there are presents from the you know aunts and uncles that we didn't know about and grandparents and great grandparents and stuff that I am not aware of. But that is what we got our kids for Christmas and what I know they are getting for Christmas. Is it a lot? Heck yes. Um, but I wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys later.